guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Battle Pack Series 38 Nikki Bella and Brie Bella. It's the Bella's latest two pack. You can get it on ringsidecollectibles.com as well as at Target and Walmart stores so far, at least right now. By the time you see this, it might be in other stores. Uh, but I was very excited to get some updated Bella figures, especially of Brie in her uh, tights that she wears, like her pants. Um, since her last basic figure was not in her current outfit. So that was pretty cool. If you want an updated Brie, definitely pick up this set. So that being said, let's take a look at them in the packaging. As you can see, there's a picture of Nikki and Brie there, the WWE logo. Here's Nikki and Brie with the WWE title, or excuse me, the WWE Divas title above Nikki's head. And they added some more uh, detail to it to make it look nicer than the past dull versions of the belt which means it's not shiny like you get with the Elite figures. Uh, also, this is the Battle Pack logo. It says Nikki Bella and Brie Bella with the Divas logo on the bottom and behind them as well. So let's take a look at the back of the box. So looking at the back, there's a Battle Pack logo. It says Recreate the Action of WWE. Also in the set is Adam Rose and the Bunny, which is the Bunny's very first time the Lion figure and most likely the last. Uh, Bray Wyatt and Undertaker. It says SmackDown. I guess it's based off of some moment on SmackDown, although that's from WrestleMania. Um, and then there's the Divas logo with Nikki and Brie, who I'm reviewing and company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at them fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Battle Pack 38 Nikki Bella and Brie Bella fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say they're pretty good figures. I'm not huge fans of the head scans. I think Mattel still needs to kind of nail uh, their scans. I mean, Nikki looks okay. I don't think Brie looks anything like her. Um, but other than that, the tires are nice. There's lots of detail on it. Um, the Divas belt is also detailed, as I said. Um, it's still a dull belt as it doesn't shine. But they added more detail to it, which I think the older versions were just a plain color. So that's nice, at least. So let's take a look at the belt first. So here's the Dull Divas belt. You can see the logo there and the WWE logos on each side. You can see the detail on the plates, which is nice. For those of you that don't know how these belts work, there's holes on one side, and notches on this side, and then you just fold it over. Push it like that. This one's a little harder to lock in but it should lock according to the size of the figure you want to put it on there you go and uh yeah so you could put it over one of their arms or around their waist or whatever you want so first let's look at nikki and then we'll look at Bree. so here's nikki it's just like her basic 52 figure just green attire her hat is different as well it doesn't have the little spikes on it uh, but it says Fearless, has the red brim, and the lines and seams and stuff in the hat. And even the hole in the back, which is cool, and it's a thin rubber, so it will sit on her head nicely. Don't have to worry about it falling off too easily. So you can put it forward, backward, whatever you want to do. So, here's her latest head skin. Looks alright, I mean you could kind of see her likeness in it. But it's not my favorite. Um, I still think they need to really do better on their skins. Um, but you can see the detail in her hair. It says Bella02 on the back of her shirt, or her top, I should say. The ball jointed head that does go up and down. It's a little restricted. And then it goes left and right as well. She has a typical ab crunch joint that all the basic diva figures have so it is pretty much an elite figure it says fearless nikki on her chest there and you can see the detail in her bra with the laces and whatever else you'd really describe that as um, she has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward she has swivel bicep joints typical basic elbow joints and she has like black wrist tape with uh the Bella Twins logo, I think, on it, on uh, both of her wrists. Then she has a swivel wrist joint. She has a closed fist here. 
and an open hand here. You can see her belly button there. Looking at her lower torso, she has a swivel waist joint. Kind of clicks, I'm not really sure why. Now you can see her green tights. Wrinkles and other designs to make those look authentic. Then she has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. Then she has a swivel thigh joint, typical basic diva knee joints. And she has her tall socks, it says Nikki. And it says Fearless on this one. And she has a swivel ankle joints. You can see her uh, gym shoes, the white and black details with the laces. She has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down. And that's Nikki. So if you missed out on her basic 52 figure, pick that up to get that. And now looking at Bree. So here's Bree's latest skin. I don't think it really looks like her to be honest. Um, as I said, you can see the headband in her hair. Another detail in her hair and stuff as well. It's a ball jointed head that goes left and right as well as up and down. Here's her green top. You can see all the detail in that. She has a typical uh, ab crunch joint that all the diva figures have as well. You can see her belly button there. She too has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. She has a swivel bicep joints, typical basic elbow joints, and she has black wristbands on both wrists. And she has a swivel wrist joint with a closed fist, open hand here. And looking at her lower torso, she too has a swivel waist joint. I'm sure you could hear it clicking, I'm really not sure why their waists click, so just be careful with yours. Uh, then she has her green tights, the black designs, and then the holes painted on, uh, like she wears now, which is cool. Um, she has ball jointed legs that do go up and down as well as outward. They're restricted a tiny bit, but not too bad. And then she has swivel thigh joints, typical basic knee joints. And then she's got her like kick pads on, the swivel boot joints. You can see all the detail in her boots, which is nice at the Bella's logo. You can see all that detail. And then she has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down as well. And you can see the padding designs and stuff too, which is really nice. Still, it's cool to get an updated Brie. I'm just not sure why my figures are clicking. So, I don't know. It must be the way they were made or something, or it could just be mine. So just be careful with yours. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.